Helen's Daughters, a St. Lucia non-profit organization seeking to empower rural women farmers, recently hosted a wellness retreat geared towards promoting the holistic well-being of its members. With activities including bonding exercises, breathwork and a chance to hike Fort Rodney, the wellness retreat encouraged the women who feed our nation to take care of their bodies and minds. The feature address was delivered by Dr. Tanya destang Bobre, creator of the Body Joy Method. So we shared a lot about that, speaking about how we feed our bodies, the types of foods we eat, um, really focusing on whole and processed foods, very limited um, processed sugars and, and other foods like that, drinking adequate amounts of water and really watching also what we put on um, our bodies because we also absorb a lot of toxins through our bodies. We also spoke about stress management, the importance of sleep, self-worth, because for a long time farming was considered um, not something that people voluntarily went into. So we're trying to really improve how, we t how they took care of themselves, how we take care of ourselves, because the work that Helen's daughters is doing is not as i said for this generation it is for generations to come and they are actually a critical part in how our country develops the wellness retreat was hosted at the pigeon island national landmark national trust representative finola jennings clark says the trust is pleased to support the work of organizations like helen's daughters we at the trust we think that helen's daughters is a wonderful organization and um, we very much have um, enjoyed hosting the ladies and the few gentlemen here today. Um, we think it's a lovely future to partner together for other events like this and um, for the National Trust to use the expertise of the members. Taking full advantage of the exchange of knowledge and advice, one Helen's Daughters member says the retreat served as a needed reset. It's a great opportunity for us as female farmers to come out and say what we do best and what we love about the farming life. This is a great opportunity for us to get to know other female farmers out there and to know that they are not hidden out there. And it's actually, there is a lot to say, but right now it's just actually a great opportunity to come out there. While the organization is focused on supporting women in agriculture through training, inputs and other forms of support, the organization's executive director, Kiflin Karu, says Helen's Daughters is a much more than meets the eye. She shared that the Green Collective is gearing up for even more activities during the rest of 2022. Because our farmers and agriculture is so integral to the overall health of our nation, we want farmers to understand the linkage, which is why we are holding this wellness retreat. Aside from our activities internally, like this retreat, we have a number of things slated for Helen's Daughters, including the launch of our apprenticeship farm in collaboration with Hotel Chocola, which will be, will be, tie, will be cutting the ribbon in November. We have our flagship training academy with a new module agritourism which comes out in late September and also we have another health and wellness clinic in September as well for all Sufra and Chuzel residents and it will be hosted at Project Chocola so look out for all these exciting updates Members of the public are encouraged to participate in upcoming Helen's Daughters activities and lend their support to St. Lucia's female farmers.